Do you remember moronic Martin Tremblay? He's the Richmond British Columbia hockey coach who disgraced himself last June when he intentionally tripped a 13-year-old player in the post-game handshake. Check out the video evidence. Wow, the trip player, uh, by the way, folks, ended up in hospital with a broken wrist while Tremblay recently found himself in court charged with two counts of assault. The Crown is asking for a sentence of 30 days of house arrest and 18 months of probation, but Tremblay's lawyer is asking for a suspended sentence and a year's probation. That's because Tremblay's lawyer, Robert Bellows, says his lugan of a client is, well, he's a victim himself, you see. Yes, he was evidently under tremendous pressure at the time of the incident. Indeed, Bellows also says Tremblay had allegedly overcommitted himself to coaching, being a scout leader and working long, long hours. My boy, a tear here. And in pleading for mercy, Tremblay's lawyer remarked, you had a case of an overexhausted, burnt out coach. That's what this case is all about. That's why he lost it on the day in question. Um, let's pick up the tempo of that melancholy violin music, shall we? Right hand over left hand under, both join hands and run like thunder. Over the hill and over the dale, duck your head and lift your tail. Don't you stray and don't you roam, turn around and promenade home. Corn in the crib and wait in the sack, turn your partner, promenade back. Ah, classic hillbilly hair. Now, there you go, folks. If one is having a stressful day, apparently breaking the bones of an innocent child is just what the doctor ordered. Bellows also said the public didn't see what happened before the tripping incident, including heated exchanges between Tremblay and other players in previous games. Oh, he had a heated exchange with a 13-year-old? Sorry, guys. The post-game hockey handshake is sacred. This is when hostility cease. Desecrating this age-old tradition is simply unforgivable. The judge is expected to hand down his sentencing decision on February the 26th. In the meantime, after two seconds of deliberation, we have reached our own verdict, folks. Namely, Martin Tremblay is guilty of being our self-pitying moron of the morning.